So let me just solidify why he might have quite possibly one of the most anticipated returns to the forefront of the UK scene in recent years. His latest single, Mel Made Me Do It, is a masterclass in everything UK music. This video features many familiar and iconic faces within the UK scene, some of which are even mentioned in the song itself. And the long-awaited replies to none other than Chip, legendary UK MC and Stormzy's friend turned rival. Mel Made Me Do It is loaded with cultural relevance or pop culture and more distinctly urban UK cultural references within its cinematic visuals that stay true to Stormzy's brand and not so subtle nor humble flex. Let's break it down. You are now locked in to Crossover Media. Stormzy's flow is one of the best. There's a distinct mastery in his simplicity that makes it pretty much impossible to mistake for any one of his contemporaries. And while yeah, his flow may not necessarily wow you, especially not at first, there's something about his nonchalant aura and the way that he slyly switches up his flows that completely amplifies any and everything that he says. My tunes getting played from a set to a christen and they're pissed on the net cause I said I ain't listening. There's something about Stormzy's consistently confident delivery mixed in with the way that he uses his voice inflections that makes it pretty difficult for you to not feel almost as arrogant as he presents himself while you're listening to the music yourself. Man, I got figures and flows. I'm a different kind of F. Got a Lambo and a Rose. That's a different kind of check. But ultimately, I do think that it's those flow switches that keep you at the edge of the seat and hold your attention, which allow you to really properly take in his wordplay. Stormzy may not necessarily be one of the first artists you think of when you're talking about master wordsmiths, especially in the UK and compared to his contemporaries. However, the references that Stormzy makes are pretty simple, but the way that he positions his punchlines have a uniqueness to it that really perfectly matches his laid back flow. Believe me, all you niggas give me we're to Lauren, I would die on this hill. Q make a reference that's so obvious, but because he delivered it so nonchalantly, you almost don't even fully process the fact that there was a punchline there sometimes. But at the same time, he can make a really simple reference, but then juxtapose it with another simple reference that then ties together everything and makes a punchline that makes you refer back to the whole scheme that started it out in the first place. I bust around when I'm in flip mode, you pricks know. And the only other artist right now that I can compare that to is Dave. Spooky bando, this theory, no but I do have to give Stormzy his credit because there are moments where sometimes he says something in such a way that it feels like he's trying to draw my attention to it as if it's a punchline, but I still don't immediately process it. But with regards to this song specifically, we have to acknowledge the fact that he finally replied to Chip. Plus, I live in his head rent free, so miss me with the bailiff one. And I'm rent free living in their head. Something that many people have been waiting for over the past year. However, I personally think that Stormzy is really more so using this to generate buzz for his upcoming project. Truthfully, the exact same way that Chip did when he started sending for Stormzy right before dropping his project. Because the reality is, moments like this get people talking on social media. People are going to clip it, people are going to quote certain lines. That's going to get people talking about Stormzy so that now, as he's continuing to drop his singles and his videos, there's a level of anticipation for this upcoming project. All the modern day drama aside, everything about how Stormzy delivered this kind of takes you back to a point in time where Drill wasn't reigning supreme like it is today. And that's evident in everything about this, especially especially the production. Stormzy has great beat selection, but the beat on Mel Made Me Do It is probably my least favorite thing about the song, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. It has a throwback kind of vibe to it that feels like it's pulling inspiration from grime while not necessarily being grime itself, and it can't really be compared to anybody else's sound but Stormzy's. Other than that, I feel like the beat here is kind of struggling to have anything memorable enough for me to really have something noteworthy to say though. If I had to give anything a shout out, it's probably the super punchy bass lines because I really did enjoy that, but all in all, the production is simple enough that it's stays out of Stormzy's way and it lets you hone in on everything that he's saying on the track which again it proves that Stormzy has very good beat selection. After my initial listen I don't think I'm gonna skip this song however it doesn't really give me much reason right now to go play it as a standalone either. I think if this is placed properly in a playlist or album it'll be fine and even though we don't know what the album is gonna be called yet I could see this one being the title track and if this one does happen to make it on his upcoming album I could see it being somewhere within the first quarter to half of the track list just because I'm not exactly sure how this can really progress the storyline of a cohesive project just yet. I think what this song does do really well is it creates a pretty chill atmosphere while also getting you hype at the same time and that allows you to kick back and prepare yourself for whatever the rest of the project is going to sound like. I think I might consider putting this one in my intro to Stormzy playlist top 10 songs for new Stormzy listeners. So let me know what y'all think about that in the comment section and you put your 10 songs that you would play if you want to introduce somebody to him. So make sure you look out for the video where I reveal the playlist and I explain the songs that I chose and subscribe to see if I end up doing a reaction to this upcoming
upcoming album by Stormzy. Let me know if you actually want to see that in the comment section down below. And if for any reason you haven't seen my reaction to Mum Made Me Do It, check that out next. But until next time, peace.